Okay, this is binomial distribution part two, how Pascal's triangle and combination fit into probability. So now let's use this thing. And we're going to start with something pretty basic. If, coin, if five coins are tossed, what is the probability of? And then I've got some questions here to, add, to answer. So we're going to toss five coins. So if you think back, we're on the fifth row of Pascal's, and I'll put that up here in a moment. And so we're going to toss, what's the probability of tossing at least one head? So if you think about that, at least one head could be tail, 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 head. That would work. There's five, one, two, three, four, five. You could also have tail, tail, head, head, head. That's at least one. We have three, but it's at least one. And so there's a couple of the sample spaces. I always like to put in some sample spaces so I can kind of see what's happening. I've got to visualize it or it doesn't work for me. So Pascal's triangle, fifth row, one, one, one. So this is flipping zero coins. This is flipping one coin. One, two, one. This is flipping two coins. This one, three, three, one. This is if you flip three coins. One, four, six, four, one. This is if you flip uh, four coins. And then the row we're after, flipping five coins. One, five, ten, ten, five, one. And that's if you flip five coins. Okay, so the first question asked, um, so we're dealing with this row. We can chop kind of everything else off. We can ignore everything else. This would be if we let if we let um, this go in this direction be head and this direction be tail um, and work your way down that way. This would be um, all heads. This would be five heads. So this would be head, 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 head. One, two, three, four, five. This one would be head, 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 tail. So you'd have one tail. So this would be five, choose five. This would be five, choose four. If you think about X as the number of heads, this would be head, 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 tail, tail. So this would be five, choose three heads. We're going to choose three heads out of five tosses. This one would be head, head, uh, tail, tail, tail. Man, got a little lazy there. And, and again, you're, you can rearrange all these. I'm just giving you an exa one example. Here there is only one. You can only get five head with five tosses, and they're all heads. There's only one, one way to do that. This would be five, choose two, and there's ten ways to get that. And this would be head, and then the rest tails. So tail, 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 four tails. And so that would be five choosing one head. And then the last one is there's only one way to get all tails, which is five choosing zero uh, heads. Okay. So that kind of quickly lists all of my sample space. And so you th you're thinking of this five coin tosses. You could have two choices for this coin toss, two choices for this one. Two for this one, two for this one, and two for this one, which would be two to the fifth power, which would be 32 different ways. And if you add 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1, you get 32. So there's 32 ways of, of getting this all these combinations. So um, the question asked, uh, what's the probability of getting at least one head? Okay, well, in that case... It is all of these except this one. Okay, so the probability of at least one head, the simplest way to do that is to find the probability of all tails, and the probability of getting a tail is a half times a half times a half times a half. Um, times a half because there's five coins which would be one out of 32 and then you got to subtract one from that let me move my equal sign 
So 1 minus that value would give me the probability of at least a head. One head. Put a little equal sign there. So, whoops, 1 minus 32. So your probability of at least one head is 31 out of 32. So that's a pretty high probability. You would have, uh, we convert that to take 31 divided by 32. That is a 0.9688 approximately. Or you've got a 90, whoops, excuse me, 97% chance of getting at least one head. Pretty good odds. Okay, let's look back at some of the other questions I asked. What about uh, tossing exactly three heads? Okay, well, exactly three heads, back to our fifth row, exactly three heads was this one right here. And there's ten of those possibilities. Head, 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 tail, tail. So you could list out all ten and then find the probability of each, but what you're going to find is that they're all the same. The probability of getting a head is a half. The probability of getting another head is a half. The probability of getting another head is a half. Probably getting a tail is a half, and the probability of getting another tail is a half. So, in that case, there's just 10 of these probabilities. So 10 times um, 1 30 seconds. So 10 30 seconds, you could reduce that and get uh, 5 uh, sixteenths, I do believe. And so the probability of getting exactly three heads, probability of three heads exactly, is uh, 5 divided by 16, or you've got a 31.25% chance. Okay, so there's another problem to look at. And I'm, you know, I'm flying through these, so feel free to stop and slow down and try to absorb what I'm saying at a thousand miles per hour. The last one is p tossing three or more heads. Okay, so three or more heads, if you look at Pascal's triangle, um, three or more heads would be this one here. Let's do it in, a, let's do it in blue, because we're, I don't want to redraw all this, because I'll run out of time. This would be, all of these are three or more heads. So this one's a little trickier. Now in every case, each one of these, head, 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 tail, um, head, 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 tail, tail, they all have a probability of 1 out of 32. And head, 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 head is also 1 out of 32. The difference is how many of them there are. So there's 10 with exactly 3. There's 5 with with exactly four heads, five ways you can get exactly four heads, and there's one way where you can get all five heads. So we're going to have to add those probabilities together. So it would look something like this. The probability of at least three heads is, and here if you, you know, um, I guess you don't need the is in there, probability of three heads would be one, uh, if they're all heads, one of those, one out of 32, plus five of uh, the four heads, which was all, which they're all one out of 32, plus um, three heads, which there's 10 of those, which is also one out of 32, and then you just add those together. So if you add those together, you'd have 1 30 seconds plus 5 30 seconds plus 10 30 seconds and this would equal 5 15 16 30 seconds which is one half so you have a 50 percent chance of getting at least three heads so that's kind of interesting how that all worked out and let me double check it with my Pascal. That just seemed too convenient. But yeah, that makes sense. Because, you know, if you think about it, half of our, you know, Pascal's triangles chops right into right down the middle. And half occur on one side and half occur on the other side. If you notice here, you know, you put a dotted line through the center of this thing. Um, it's very symmetric. And we happen to hit right between the two tens. So 
black. So this side is 50% of the stuff, and this side's 50% of the stuff. So you wouldn't even have had to do a lot of the heavy math. You could have just looked at it and said, hey, half of them occur on that side, so it's going to be 50%. Okay, last question. This one's a little tougher, and it leads to the part three. Part three is going to be... Um, uh, part three is going to be, oh, never mind. Now let's just end it there. I'm going to stop there. We've had enough. I've had enough. But part three, the next part of this is going to be, you know, tails and heads have a 50-50 chance. What happens if it's like weather, you know, where each day you only have a 10% chance of rain and you want to know over five day period where all five days has a 10% chance of rain, what's the what's the probability of at least one of those days having rain, you know, or something like that. And so what happens when the probability is not 50-50? And uh, so that's the next video. Good luck. I hope this helps. See you next time.